ndugu Raila Odinga mama Aida Wam familia yote ya ndugu yetu Fidel Castro Odinga mine first and foremost is to once again take this opportunity to join you my brother and mama Aida and the whole family in condoling you on my own behalf on behalf of my wife and indeed on behalf of the entire Kenyatta family we have lost a great son and we are here to share this moment of grief and pain with you I am also here in my own personal capacity as a friend of Fidel's a man who I respected and indeed as has been stated here a man who knew how to cross the political divide the ethnic divide the religious divide a man who bore no grudges a man who had no bitterness a man who could easily congratulate you on the one hand and be a, your competitor on the other and life would continue he bore no grudges I remember severally especially when we shared a building at the Treasury and he would come via my office on his way to see his father and we would talk about many issues as I was telling his father only recently the beginning of December he called me and he told me that uh, he wanted us to meet and I told him yes let's find some time to get together unfortunately that never came to pass but let me say that as we mourn this friend as we share today as a nation united by grief I think there is a lot we can learn from the life that Fidel led a lot that we can learn that can help us heal and unite our country and as we are here today joined together in grief I strongly believe that through his life we can also join together in life and make this country a much better place for all our citizens I think the key for me is the fact that it is indeed possible for us to have a one Kenyan nation as we see here today it is possible and the onus is on all of us as leaders to see how we can bring that about to ensure a better Kenya for all our people and I want to give you my assurance that I am personally willing and I have no issue whatsoever in sitting down and talking and bringing people together this is no problem all we need to understand is that we need one another and we need less of shouting at one another and more of talking with one another talking with one another and that was what Fidel was very good at he could he could move away from the shouting and be able to engage and talk with you and that's how people build relations 
That's how people build respect for one another. And that's how great things happen. So let us, like Fidel, learn to talk with each other and less talk at one another. And we can make some tremendous progress. Today is not mine to say much. We are here, as I said, to mourn a friend and to join my brother and his family in mourning a son. We stand with you. And like I said, when we have been engaging all along, on my own behalf and on behalf of the entire government of the Republic of Kenya, I promise you we will follow to the end until we establish exactly what happened to our brother Fidel. May the Almighty God rest his soul in eternal peace. And to Luam, we are as open to you as we were to Fidel. And whatever it is that you may wish of us, never for one minute hesitate. Know that we are your older brothers, and we are there for you whenever you need us. May God bless you and keep you warm. Thank you very much.